हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल ब्रीफ यू अबाउट फिक्स्ड कैपेसिटर थायरिस्टर कंट्रोल्ड रिएक्टर दैट इज एफ सी टी सी आर इट्स बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर रिएक्टिव पावर डिमांड वर्सेस रिएक्टिव पावर सप्लाई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एफ सी टी सी आर इज अ बेसिक वार जनरेटर अरेंजमेंट यूजिंग अ फिक्सड दैट इज परमानेंटली कनेक्टेड कैपेसिटर विथ अ थायरिस्टर कंट्रोल्ड रिएक्टर The current in the reactor is varied by the method of firing delay angle control. The fixed capacitor in practice is usually substituted fully or partially by filter network that has the necessary capacitive impedance at the fundamental frequency to generate the reactive power required. But it provides a low impedance at selected frequencies to shunt the dominant harmonics produced by tcr here we can see the vi characteristics the var demand versus var output characteristics so here you see this is qc that is reactive power supplied by capacitor it is a fixed power qc and is given by v is equal to i c in qc is equal to v into ic this is qc now you can see this this is ql that is reactive power absorbed by the inductor it is given by ql is equal to v into ilf of alpha this fundamental current of tcr is a controllable quantity which we have already studied so by controlling this fundamental current we can control ql and hence we can control the system requirement of reactive power that is q so q is ql minus qc qc is a fixed value where ql is a variable value QL is varied in such a way that the required Q is attained. Now, how do we attain this? We vary the QL by varying alpha because fundamental current of TCR is an alpha dependent quantity. At the maximum capacitive war output, the thyristor controlled reactor is off. that is alpha is equal to 90 degrees at zero var output the capacitive and inductive currents become equal and thus the capacitive and inductive wars cancel out each other with further decrease in angle alpha and the inductive current becomes greater than the capacitive current resulting in a net inductive war output this is possible only when the rating of the reactor is greater than that of the capacitor now at zero delay angle that is alpha is equal to 0 the thyristor controlled reactor conducts current over full 180 degree interval resulting in maximum inductive war output that is equal to the difference between the wars generated by the capacitor and those absorbed by the fully conducting reactor vi or operating characteristics of fctcr it is defined by the maximum attainable capacitive and inductive admittances by the voltage and current rating of the major power components that is capacitor reactor and the thyristor wall so here we can see this is the operating area of fctcr this is maximum capacitive voltage this is maximum inductive voltage this is maximum capacitive current and maximum inductive current bc is admittance of the capacitor and bl max is the maximum and inductive admittance of the fctcr so here you can see fctcr operates within this range as shown in the shaded area in next video we will study 
how alpha is regulated and the required QL is adjusted in order to get or supply or absorb the reactive demand of the power system. Thank you.